<laughs> I just wanna tell y'all right now, blood is thicker than water, you feel what I'm saying? So that means that if anybody does anything to you harmful in your family, you should forget them. It's true. This whole talk about blood is thicker than water, that just does not wash. If anybody in your family abuses you, you should forgive them. If anybody is showing narcissistic traits, you should not expose them. If anybody is doing anything toxic towards you, as long as they are brother, as long as they are blood, blood is thicker than water, so you should. We talk about narcissistic families and specifically some of the things that they do to undermine you, um, some of the character traits, and just generally what life is like when you're dealing with uh, narcissistic family members. Okay, so let me start this off. And this is probably the hard truth that you didn't want to hear. However, your family do not like you. They don't like you, they don't respect you, and they will do anything possible to bring you down. They are blood, blood is thicker than water, so you should forget them. <laughs> Harsh words, but it's true. This whole talk about blood is thicker than water. Drink certs in there. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So your boy, um, I think his name Aiden or something like that. But uh, I just found his channel or whatever. But yeah, he he keep it real. You feel what I'm saying? He must be the scapegoat of his family. But like, that's the phenomenon that has been going on for years and years and years and years that is debunked by me. Josh Different is debunked. Blood is not thicker than water, nor do we tolerate anything from any, 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 any individual who treats us toxic. I don't give a if you've been through childhood trauma. I've been through childhood trauma too. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you got the wrong one, player. I'm so defiant, I'm so defiant as a truth teller, as a chosen one, as a scapegoat, as a, as a, as a black sheep. I'm so defiant. Listen, I went against a whole heritage. A whole heritage. It's your boy Josh, different. Mind, body, and soul. I'm different, you different, we different. See, I'm different. Because I'm the type of person that's like, I don't care who on my side, you know what I'm saying? I don't care who rocking with me. Ooh, why my head look like that? I need a haircut. I don't care who rocking with me, you feel me? I don't care if you blood, water, syrup, you feel what I'm saying? This is thick. It's, it's just no pancake. No, but seriously, like, not only have I heard this type of saying, you know, that's your brother, that's your sister from therapists, from people in my ex's family, from people in my other ex's family. And the crazy part is, people will, 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 will continue to tell certain individuals within the family to keep dealing with those family members, and then eventually, they stop dealing with those family members in life or whatever the case may be. But when you, decided not to deal with these blood thicker than water individuals, you were wrong. Your, your, your point wasn't justified. Do not seek validation from none of these people. They don't know what they're talking about and the age don't matter and they label don't matter. I don't care if it's your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, your brother, your sister, it don't matter. Blood ain't thicker than water. And just like dude said in his video, if you come from a narcissistic family, they don't care about you. They don't love you. And they're trying to do anything possible to minimize you. You know, you know what I'm saying? The hierarchy, the narcissist, don't want nobody to be better than them. So you'll never be able to, you know what I'm saying? And then all they do is, I'm going to explain this for people who don't really know what it is. So they're going to say covert little smart stuff to try to bring you down. They're going to try to... You come to them, yeah, yo, I just made this new computer, this new MacBook. Check me out. They're gonna be like, oh, yeah, you making that MacBook, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you, you got jewelry, that's, that's what's up. But every once in a while, they're gonna throw you some positive bones to make it seem like, just so later on when you call them out when they BS, they can say, oh, no, that one time I said that you had some dope syrup or you had some nice jewelry. That one time. 
Dad, one time I said, Dad, even though all the other times I was throwing shots at you and abusing you, but that one time I did blah, 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 fuck that shit. That's what I got to say about that shit. That's like a lot of motherfuckers that try to pop up from my past. You feel what I'm saying? Let's keep it a buck. I'm, I'm mentally healthier than I've ever been in my life. I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. And I don't just say that to say that for the camera. I'm dead serious. Like, I'm on a different mental level than I've ever been in my life. So those who try to pop up, and it's not even on a materialistic level, but those who try to pop back up in my life, you feel what I'm saying? After they did what they did, I don't hold grudges, but good luck to you. Go that way. You feel what I'm saying? I got shit to do, and I recognize what you've done to me. I recognize how you try to come at me. You feel what I'm saying? Just like he said in that video, narcissistic families don't rock with you. They try to fake it, especially if it's covert narcissism within your family, which he specializes in. Go subscribe to his channel. But they don't, they don't rock with you for real. You feel what I'm saying? They don't rock with you. They gonna triangulate. They going to do little sneaky stuff, say little sneaky stuff, go to everybody in the family and be like, yeah, so-and-so this way, so-and-so spreading lies. I could understand if you was doing stuff, but they spreading lies to minimize your character even lower than it already is within that family system. I should smack the shit out of you. Like, you know how crazy that is, you feel what I'm saying? I'm being as real as possible in this video. You know how that crazy that is? But people want to go around saying blood stick in the water. Stop it. Can we stop the stupid BS out here? You feel what I'm saying? But that's how the matrix operate. That's how the world operate. Everybody operating based off of how everybody else tell them. Everybody operating based off of... Let me take this off. This shit don't mean nothing. This, this stuff don't mean nothing. But for real though, stop the blood thick in the water. A lot of these people out here being manipulated. It's a lot of molestation going on in families. It's a lot of lies. It's a lot of abuse. It's a lot of lies about abuse. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it a buck. These mentally disabled individuals, narcissists be lying about being a borderline personality disorder. Individuals be lying about. Let's keep it a buck. I know it's a stigma on BPD, but then tell. Then how about the BPDs? Go tell all the BPDs to stop doing toxic stuff. How about all the narcissists go tell all the narcissists to become self-aware and stop doing toxic stuff? The stigma is there for a reason. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's like going to the black community and being like, yo, why is it a stigma on black on black crime? Now, obviously, the media and stuff plays a part in promoting it to make it look worse than it is. But it is still a lot of black on black crime. What we going to go around and say, oh, my God, can we stop? The, the stigma on black on black crime. It is a lot of black on black crime. And there's a lot of narcissists and borderlines who act similar. There's a lot of them who lie about being abused. That's like literally what they do. There's a lot of toxic behavior that's out here that's from narcissism and borderline stuff that go on TikTok and these girls say all this toxic stuff and they go on Twitter and they say all this toxic stuff and stuff like that. And it's like, bro, you have issues. Why can't we normalize working on ourselves? You corny if you're working on yourself. You corny if you talk about mental health. You feel what I'm saying? But you running around here talking about sleeping with X, Y, and Z and all these different people. And yeah, I suck 10 times. Oh my God, now I'm 37. Oh my God, I can't find it, man. I don't understand. Oh my God, hookup culture is so toxic. Hookup culture. Stop it. Listen. Got off topic. This video is about blood thick in the water. Let's keep it a buck. Let's let's normalize people working on themselves. Let's normalize families actually not scapegoating people because they project it on each other. I don't care. I'm past all of that. So I just wanted to shoot out as many videos as possible to keep it a buck with y'all. But my story is coming up, which is on the 25th of November. And stay tuned for that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just gonna tell my story and I don't need no blood. I don't need no family. I thrive on my own. I've created my own soul family. And then some of those soul family people, I'm gonna watch y'all too because you got you can't trust people out here when you chosen. When you got a high vibration, they be trying to bring you down. You know what I'm saying? 
They be trying to bring you down, but I watch. I'm paying attention to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Nobody can get me like, like the narcissism of past got me. You can't get me like that. You can't get me like that. Those days are over. Now I'm about to go Rico Suave on your wife. And now she gonna watch my videos and be like, yo, what's up? Let me get your number. But I'm not even giving it to her because I'm focused on myself. It's your boy Josh Different, mom, body, and soul. I'm different, you different, we different. Blood is not thinking of what am I, guy?